Anyone who has seen the Showtime series Dexter would recognize Jennifer Carpenter. Carpenter plays the lead role of Dexter's sister, opposite Michael C. Hall as Dexter. Jennifer has done some other acting work, but it wasn't until she started acting in Dexter that critics started paying attention to her. Are you a fan of Dexter? What do you think of her portrayal as Deborah Morgan? Have you ever wondered what else she's been up to since Dexter ended nearly 10 years ago? It's a good thing Jennifer received the praise that she did. Without this critical acclaim, we may not have seen her rise above the status quo and develop her acting skills in real time. Without her breakthrough with this series, she may not have ended up starring in other films and television shows we've seen her in since. Dexter was a dramedy featured on Showtime. Michael C. Hall's character, Dexter, is a compulsive serial killer with strong morals. As part of Miami's police force, he would spend most of his days solving crimes. Dexter is one of the good guys. He is very intelligent and easy on the eyes. Sounds great. Well, there's more. At night, he takes matters into his own hands and sets out on murder sprees. Sometimes he is stressed and needs a release of pent-up emotions. Sometimes his code of honor shines through when he meets unsavory individuals, torn between what is good and what is right. Dexter is a complex character, played perfectly by Hall. Many fans will argue that the character works so well because of the chemistry between Hall and Carpenter. Their sibling relationship was unique, realistic, and believable. It was enough to have critics and fans wonder whether the actors were acting. Fans and critics agree that Jennifer Carpenter is a rare talent, and she deserved every bit of spotlight she could absorb from the hit series. The show did end back in 2013. Since then, she has continued acting. Thanks to a load of practice and notoriety, she had gathered from acting on Dexter. She had mastered a wide array of personalities from her experience in Dexter. Most notably, fans are excited to hear that she may be reviving her role as Deborah Morgan. We will get back to that in a minute. Directly after Dexter ended, Carpenter went to perform in something a bit less mainstream. It was a film following up S. Craig Zeller's film Brawl in Cell Block 99, along with some actors from this original film, including Vince Vaughn and Mel Gibson. The film was titled Dragged Across Concrete. Have you seen this movie? Or the original Brawl in Cell Block 99? Well, this performance would be a bit less recognizable than the Showtime series. It appears that Carpenter was inspired to act in something different. We love that for her. Around the same time, Carpenter was featured in Bradley Cooper's new spin-off series, Limitless. This new series deals with certain characters after Cooper's film, Limitless. Perhaps Carpenter had missed the feel of working on a television set. Working in this setting would probably be more comfortable and familiar to her than a movie set. It makes sense, considering her resume. Carpenter continues again and again to surprise us with her brilliant performances. Yet again, showing her versatility, Jennifer joined the cast for a film called Control Group. This new film Carpenter is working on now is about the implications of allowing grief to consume us. A scientist pushes the boundaries of what we can do versus what we should never do when he creates a clone, a sort of replica, of his late wife. Liz Monashiel directs the ambitious film. Liz certainly makes a good choice, including Jennifer. Carpenter has played roles just like this before. And yes, Jennifer is taking steps to officially revive her old character, Deborah Morgan. Showtime has decided to launch a new spin-off miniseries called Dexter New Blood that will include Jennifer Carpenter as Morgan, in the same role as the lead sister. Many fans are thrilled to hear this. Are you going to watch Watch this new series, it seems that Carpenter did not slow down after the end of Dexter in 2013. She went on to contribute to many films and television shows, utilizing her natural talents for developing believable and realistic characters. That's not all. As well as all of these projects, Carpenter is also working with Spencer Cohen on a show called Ballistic, along with co-creator Anna Halberg. This role will be a breeze for Jen. It's a police investigator who is forced on the run after being set up. Jennifer played a police officer in her portrayal of Deborah Morgan. We think that's a good reason Dexter was so successful. With talent and ambition like hers, we can only imagine how successful she will be in her acting career. It's nice to see. While we anxiously twiddle our thumbs awaiting Dexter New Blood, we thought it would be fun to revisit Carpenter's best roles on the silver screen. We will weed out the duds. These are the best of the best films that star Jennifer. We have our list of the best performances, and we will start with the least beloved and successful film, and work our way up to the absolute crown jewel of her performances. According to Rotten Tomatoes, the lowest rated of her top films is Quarantine. This film is a disaster story mixed with an infectious virus story. Just overnight, something impossible and terrifying is happening. Angela, the reporter, is sent to shadow a team of firefighters for a night shift. Angela, working on writing a story about what it's like to respond to emergencies in real time, hoped for a compelling emergency. A good emergency? She and the team are sent to an apartment in Los Angeles, where the people inside scream bloody murder. Once it becomes clear that there is some sort of outbreak, the CDC rushes in and seals the whole building. With the 
the emergency services, police, and Angela inside. It is certainly an unusual premise, yet it feels sort of familiar. Now, in 2022, it seems much too familiar. If you haven't seen this one before, and matters of public health are sensitive, you may want to sit this one out. Anyone personally affected by the coronavirus would likely find this topic and this film triggering. Next up, by just a sliver, is Battle in Seattle. It appears that Jennifer does well in thrillers. This film from 2007 is loosely based on the real-life protest at the WTO Ministerial Conference of 1999. She was highly praised for this performance, though the films she is most known for are the S. Greg Zeller films. Following that, we will discuss Mouthful of Air, released in January 2022. This film is a bit different than her usual types of films. Mouthful of Air is a tense family drama directed by Amy Koppelman. Both of these are worth a watch for any fan of Jennifer Carpenter. Casual fans of hers might not have heard of these films. Our runner-up film is Dragged Across Concrete, along with Vince Vaughn and Mel Gibson. In this film, we see a more critical view of matters of police. This would become a common theme for Carpenter. It isn't the first time, nor would it be the last, that she portrayed a member of the police force. And it's not exactly her first time delving into the potential corruption that can become commonplace in some departments of the police force. In this film, a pair of police officers are suspected for allegedly assaulting one of their suspects. That doesn't look good. An emotional, heavy role, and worth a watch. This performance is almost directly responsible for launching Carpenter into the next sphere of acting skill. Finally, Jennifer Carpenter's best-rated performance is in Brawl in Cell Block 99. Again, Jennifer Carpenter works alongside Vince Vaughn. The film is the first film Carpenter worked on under S. Craig Zoller. Vaughn plays the role of her husband. He is a washed-up boxer, and he and his wife Carpenter are slowly drifting apart. In a plot similar to Breaking Bad, our narrator becomes sucked into the underworld of drugs and crime. Would you see this film? It isn't just Jennifer's role that received praise. The whole movie has been praised. If this movie hadn't been made, Dragged Across the Concrete would not exist. Although she remains most well-known for her role in Dexter, we must not forget that Jennifer Carpenter is also a well-rounded actor capable of being in films. Ironically, these films exist when many Carpenter fans may not even be aware of all of this other content to feed their fandoms. What about you? Do you think Dexter should be rebooted? Will you watch the new Showtime series? We would also love to hear what you think of S. Craig Zoller. Should Jennifer and Vaughn keep working together under this director? Have you watched all of the movies Jennifer Carpenter has been in? If you like films about criminal intrigue, procedural police dramas, or accusations of corruption, you would probably love her movies. Please let us know your thoughts down below.